Today we're splicing the haul rope for the new Powder Seeker 6 lift. Splicing simply means that you're creating a continuous loop out of the wire rope without a visible knot. So today we have Norm Duke, who is a wire rope specialist. We all have to work as a team. Does a lot of splicing around the country and the world. And then we have Doppelmeyer's team that has been here all season doing construction of the lift as well as many different departments represented from mountain operations to include lift maintenance, lift operations, snow making and grooming, terrain parks, on down the line. But today that started with layout, measuring, and then marriage, which is simply where you butt the two ends of the core up against one another, and then decide which strand will be replaced from the opposite direction and what you see right now is them laying in the strand and removing the corresponding one from the opposite direction. So they're heating the core and then laying in that new strand and beating it with hammers so that it will be nice and perfectly smooth. Provide a real smooth ride and correct fit with the grips as they come on and off the rope in the terminals. Well, one of the most challenging things is this rope is very heavy. It's approximately five pounds per foot. And as you can see, all the work is being done on a side hill and over several hundred feet of line. And it all has to be orchestrated pretty much like a Congo line dance. Tomorrow they'll just simply finish. And one of the last things will be doing what are called the tucks, which is where they'll take those ends of the strands. There are six strands in total and those strands will get straightened and put inside the haul rope, replacing the poly core. Next, once this is done, the haul rope will be finished putting on these towers, and we'll start to put chairs on the lift in preparation for the final load test. Load test is the week of the 15th. We'll be ready to go on Thanksgiving Day. Assuming we have enough snow to ski here, we'll be ready. That's it, Dewarsh.